Cheapskate by Longford Town striker Rob Mandy and Rob. Great comeback win. 1 0 down to the students at half time. Evan Weir with that last gasp goal at the end of the first half. Brilliant second half display. Great comeback to come back and win 3 1. Yeah, we're delighted. Um, Kafa said to us at half time we wanted a reaction and we're very pleased that I'm very pleased with the boys and the direction we gave. Um, especially after the disappointment on Friday. Um, I felt like it was needed very much and just really pleased with the boys, very happy and we worked our socks off. I think we deserved the three three points. Absolutely, and it has to be Longford Town's best second half display of the season. Yeah, hundred percent. I think everyone everyone said it there. We felt like we were dominating the game completely and uh, there was a real buzz, especially with the fans having, having the fans back. It's just just has that bit of atmosphere that when we when we're on there, UCD is back, the fans are behind us and everyone's getting on to each other, so it helps big to one. And you're banging in the goals now, you scored against Shamrock Rovers 2, the first home match of the season. Then you have to wait until Shamrock Rovers 2 away to get the next two goals. Now you have five goals and four assists this season, so things come along nicely for you now on that front. Yeah, it took a while when I was coming back from the break, but uh, I know we always know we have to trust ourselves as a striker that just got a goal, so I'm just happy to be back. And Shane L. Worthy, that was his first goal of the season, but a crucial goal getting equalised in the early stages of the second half, which Longford Town would dominate. Ah, Shane was brilliant. Coming in the back post, and Matt, Matt Doherty esque, is how he was <laughs> today. But I um, couldn't believe it, but he's been brilliant up and down the wing. And then Sam Verdon, of course, who he, he's uh, coming back from injury, he was on the bench last week against Bray. Started this evening, it didn't last 90 minutes, but got that crucial goal, and then you got on the score sheets as well. Yeah, Sam's such a big player for us. He's seen you, he's here a couple of years now. and He's just such a big presence in the dressing room and on the pitch as well. So when you see him scoring, like, it's, it's just great to see. And at 3-1, you weren't setting for that. You were pushing for a fourth and uh, came close to scoring uh, another goal as well. The keeper Locke and Healy made some fine saves in that second Yeah, he, the keeper done well. He made some good saves. And um, it was... Just happy with Mick as well, putting the ball back for me, so I could get the get the goal. And uh, finally, you now looking ahead, Athlone Town, the El Clasico next opponents on Friday at the Athlone Town Stadium. Athlone Town in a bit of form, got the second win tonight, beating Wexford. So a couple of wins for Athlone Town, so they're gaining momentum. So never easy against them in the Athlone Town Stadium. No, we can only focus on our sales though. So we'll put in good training session now this weekend. We'll get out one Friday. And uh, Longford Town in third down the table because Kevin Teeley went down to a late goal to Galway. Uh, Bray, a great win against Cole 2 1. But Galway United are coming up uh, f along the rails, uh, coming from nowhere really. Yeah, well, obviously, with that new manager, it's going to bring in a boost of confidence and energy in the squad. But as I said, we can only focus on ourselves and keep, going, keep pushing on and going from here. Well, Rob, thank you very Thanks much. Thanks very much. I'm just going to get